Good day everyone and you're welcome to Cetro Craft Channel, this is Joker Cetro. Today it's time to go creative, you might be surprised seeing me this way. But today I want to be making a poncho or cape blouse. What did I call it? Poncho or cape blouse. So it's something like this, just like a muffler you're having on the dress. You just go creative, you could just have it like a style. So it's as easy as A and B and C, so let's just get started. It's as easy as A and B and C. You do you have your fabric this way? Having your fabric this way, you fold into two. Having folded into two this way. You now fold into two again. That's the fabric is into four fold right now. It's into four fold this way. So I could just place it this way like this. This is my shoulder, and this is my neckline point. So adding my fold this way, I have to affix my pin so that my fabric won't shift because it's a very soft fabric. Mouth pins this way, then I am good to go. Very, very easy. What do you do? Just achieve my neckline across the shoulder measurements. I'll be using three and a half inches this way. Then the neckline here, I'll be using one three quarter inches. Would use one and a half, but I'll be using one three quarter. So I'll try to achieve my neckline. Just form a curve. So just achieve a curve this way. This will actually form our neckline. After achieving this curve, then you take the measurements. It all depends on how you want your poncho or your cape blouse to be, how long you want it to be. You can see the measurements I have left here, this 13 and a half inches. So that's what I'll be using for this side. Then this side I'll be using 23 inches. It all depends on how long you want your poncho to be. You could make it 22, 25, it all depends on you. But I'll be using 23 and the left line position here, 23 inches this way. Then here, I'll be using this 13 and a half inches. 13 and a half inches. So what I just do is that I'll connect this point to this point and my poncho is ready. Just connect this point together this way. So I'll just cut out. And I'll cut out my neckline. And with this, you're good to 
curve, you can see, I'll just affix my design around this way. So by the time I'm through with any round, then I'll just affix my design. I'll fix my design this way, all round. And it's gonna come out this way. Guess it's gonna be beautiful. So I'll just affix my design this way, all round. Then the neckline, for the neckline, what do you do? You just take your bias black bias, you place it this way, you sew for it, you, you place it this way, then you turn it in and you sew and you have a nice trimming as in bias sewing hair on the length line. And with this, you're good to go. My poncho is just as easy as A and B and C. Okay, as you can see, this is how your poncho or cape blouse will be looking like by the time you're through. So it's just a modern way, a creative way of just having a cape, a cape blouse, a poncho when you're through with your styles. Maybe you have the regular styles and you want to go out to do look in a different way. You could just quickly do a poncho. You know, making a poncho is even easier. You know, I saw that at Seto over fashion is it's as easy as A and B. But I want to tell you, poncho is easier than A and B and C. So you can see it's, it's pretty easy, pretty easy, pretty easy. So this is just what your poncho look like by the time you're through with any neck and every other thing. You're gonna have a nice fit and what of you? So 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 if this video has been beneficial and educated to you, don't forget to do work, subscribe, press the like button, send in your comments till I come your way next time. I remain your humble friend, Joker, etc. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.